guys welcome back to another tutorial we are going to be working on this nautical wheel motif pattern and this is another pattern from the complete photo guide to crochet by miss margaret hubert and this is a beautiful and simple pattern yet skill level immediate so grab your hook and your yarn and we will start this pattern okay so let's get started with our nautical wheel I'm just using a standard 5 millimeter hook and 4 weight yarn. So the first thing we're going to do is chain up 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We're going to join to form our ring. Okay? So you, round 1, we're going to do a simple chain 5. And this is going to count as a triple crochet and a chain two. So now what we're going to do is a triple crochet, chain two, 11 times into the ring. So you're going to yarn over twice and go into that center ring. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, to where you have one loop remaining. Then you're going to chain two. And I don't normally start counting when we do this many stitches at a time until I'm closer. So let's just keep working those triple crochet and chain two until we get a little closer. So there's a chain two. And now working another triple. Chain two. And you can close your hole up as you need to and pull your tail. Make sure you're working over that tail as you go. And then whatever we have left, we can clip that. Get it out of the way. So we'll just keep working our triples. So basically, once we've completed this round, you're going to have a total of 12 triple crochet. Because that first chain 5 did count as 1. And you may have to scooch those over a bit. Okay, let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is going to be ten. Remember, we need twelve all together. Still scooching. So this is eleven. Okay, and let's put, let's make double short. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So let's do that last one. And then our last chain 2. Now you want to join with a slip stitch in the third of that chain 5. So you can count up or down. So 1, 2, 3. Whatever you do, you want to make sure that you have two chains left because you had two chains in between each triple. You want to also leave two chains in between those two. So join with a slip stitch. Okay, round two, we're going to slip into this chain two space, chain three, and we're going to make our beginning cluster. You want to yarn over twice, insert your hook into that same chain two space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you want to do that again. So yarn over twice, insert into the same chain two space, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now you'll have three hoops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Now you want to chain three, and that was your beginning cluster. So this one, the next clusters are going to be just a tad different, not too bad. So now you want to go into the next chain two space, and the remaining clusters will be the same as this one. The first thing you want to do here is you want to yarn over twice as you start. Now go in, pull your loop up, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now you're going to do that again, so wrap your hook twice, go into the same chain two space, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now you're going to have three. All right, and we still need one more, so we're going to do that again. So yarn over twice, go back in and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So the rest of the clusters you will have four on your hook instead of three. So yarn over, pull through all four loops, and chain three. So basically that's how you're going to repeat this. So I'll do that one more time with you. So you want to start off with yarning over twice, go in the next chain two space, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, go back in the same space and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and one more time, yarn over twice, Go back in the same space and pull up, yarn over, pull through twi twice, yarn over, pull through twice, and you'll have four loops on your hook. So yarn over, pull through all four loops, and chain three. Okay, so now you want to do that uh, all the way around. Make sure you do your chain three in between, and I will meet you up at the end of this row. Okay, so at the end of round two, you want to make sure to have that last chain three. So let's slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. And we are going to now slip stitch across until we get to this next chain two space. All right, so now you want to chain up two. This is going to act as our first half double crochet for this round. So this is not going to be difficult, but this one stitch involving our Pico and how it's made, it's going to be a little funny to you, but it's very cool and interesting to me. So this is our first half double crochet here. So what you want to do is put two additional half double crochet in the same chain two space. So there's one, there's two. So you have three here. Now what you want to do is chain three. So now to make the pico, what you want to do is half double crochet in the last half double crochet made. So here is our last half double crochet. So you want to go into the top of that, which is also connected to this chain three. So yarn over, go right into the top of that half double crochet right here where we just made, pull up and make a half double crochet. And that is going to act as our pico. And now you want to put two half doubles into this same chain two space. So that is just just lovely. So you'll have three half doubles here, you will have your pico, and then you'll have two half doubles on this side. Okay? So now what you want to do, you want to do three half doubles into this next space. So one, two, three, chain three, do your half double into the top of your half last half double. Okay? And then you want to do two half doubles into the same space. So one, two. Okay? And basically you're just going to do that around. So in the next space you want to do three half doubles. So one, two, and three. Chain three. And then work that half double to make that pico. And, um, and while we're, we're just going to keep working around these and I'll talk to you a little bit. So now let's just put two half doubles here and just keep working the same pattern. Um, as I've seen uh, picots worked, sometimes I think folks get it in their head that they have to be worked exactly the same. You know, the chain three and then you uh, 
uh, slip stitch in the third chain. Um, that is not always true. I have seen picots worked in so many different ways and I am glad Miss Margaret did this because this is a perfect example of how you can actually work picots in different styles. There, this is one very versatile stitch that you know you can actually work it in several different ways. You know you can chain up many stitches. I have actually chained up six and then come down and uh, slip stitched or single crocheted. And actually, whether you single crochet or slip stitch makes all the difference in the world as to what your shape is going to come out like. So. Um, don't ever let anyone tell you that a peacoat has to be the chain three and then the slip stitch or the chain three and then the single crochet because there is a huge difference based on how you actually do that stitch and this is a perfect example because here it's totally filled in and uh, you know it just gives it such a totally different vibe and look so the pico stitch is one of those that you can play around with now mind you yes um, it the way that it was built it's like any other stitch it, it does have a specific way that it was written but just like lots of other stitches in the crochet business um, it gets played around with and it eventually gets used in many different ways so um, and that's how new stitches uh, do come about um, and that's just how how creativity uh, does get invented and how it just keeps blossoming and how it keeps growing so um, you know, I've, I've talked to many people and there are a lot of headstrong people that feel, well, the way that it was, that this stitch or that stitch or this stitch or that stitch was made is the only way it should be done. Well, I'm a firm believer, play around with stitches or patterns or whatever and uh, work with them and uh, invent something new because that's just the point of being creative and using a creative mind. Okay, so we are still working around here. Almost done. So I'm putting three half doubles, doing my chain three, and putting my half double to make my pico, and two half doubles. So my next one. And you can change the size of this, like I said, I'm just using a standard four weight yarn and a five millimeter. You can use, of course, any, any weight yarn, any hook you want. I just wanted to make sure it was a good size to demonstrate with. Okay, so the last one we will do three half doubles, chain three, and do that pico. And the last two. And now you're going to slip stitch into that beginning chain two. And I will back this up a bit. And there you have your nautical wheel. And I know um, I love anchors and things that have to do with the ocean and uh, being from the south, I'm always one of those big beachy type girls and this was perfect so this would make uh, a beautiful applique to go on a purse um, afghan you know worked into a granny square anything like that so this is a very beautiful pattern um, so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i will see you on the next one happy hooking